I call it the alkalarian diet because it goes beyond all other diets. This is the diet for immortality. Where I realized that sugar, sugar was, uh, was a waste product of metabolism. It was unnecessary for, for uh, the body to have in relationship to, for energy production or ATP production. And that uh, the body ran on electrons, not on sugar. The body ran on electrons, not on carbohydrates or proteins or fats uh, or the calories from those particular foods. That the main important thing was was a diet that was high in electrical energy, that the diet uh, had saturation of hydroxyl ions, uh, electrons that the body runs. So the body is electric. And, uh, and and that led me to other theories, where I realized that sugar sugar was uh, was a waste product of metabolism. It was unnecessary for for uh, the body to have in relationship to for energy production or ATP production. And that uh, the body ran on electrons, not on sugar. The body ran on electrons, not on carbohydrates. And that uh, the body ran on electrons, not on sugar. The body ran on electrons, not on carbohydrates. And that uh, the body ran on electrons, not on sugar. The body ran on electrons, not on carbohydrates. And that uh, the body ran on electrons, not on sugar. The body ran on electrons, not on carbohydrates. Interesting. So the body doesn't run on carbohydrates. Blood sugar doesn't matter. The body's electric. It runs on electrons. So I guess when we look at this Iron Man clip where the two female triathletes are hitting the wall, they've run out of glycogen. Maybe they didn't run out of glycogen. They ran out of electron ions. They ran out of electrons. <laughs> so all they need to do is just plug in this electricity. So someone from the from the spectators could have just plugged them into some electricity or put a, a battery in their ear, and they would have been able to keep running faster. I didn't run out of carbohydrates, I didn't run out of glycogen. No, that's not what happened at all. Dr. Young's got it all on scoop. And there's no such thing as a healthy sugar. I don't care if it's coming from stevia, from a plant source, or whatever source is coming. All sugars are acids. All sugars are toxic to the body. And there's no such thing as a healthy sugar. I don't care if it's coming from stevia, from a plant source, or whatever source is coming. All sugars are acids. All sugars are toxic to the body. So let's look at what Dr. Young's food pyramid looks like. Dr. Young promotes a high-fat, low-carbohydrate, plant-based lifestyle. Let's check it out. Let's hear Dr. Young describe that in his own words. And this is an interview of Kevin Jowney, 2011. Listen carefully. Alkalarian diet look like? So, so, you know, what are maybe percentage of macronutrients or, you know, how, how is it broken down uh, for, for someone who can understand a little bit more about... Well, if you're talking about. traditionally, it's, it, the, the diet calorically runs anywhere with three different diets, 1,500 uh, calories up to, up to 4,000 calories. This particular program, you can eat as much as you want, as often as you want. I call it the alkalarian diet because it goes beyond all other diets. This is the diet for immortality. So let me get this straight. We don't run on sugar or carbohydrates or glycogen. We run on electricity, electrons. That's what we need. Secondly, all sugar is toxic. You don't need it. Thirdly, we are immortal beings. Dr. Young's alkalarian diet is the diet for immortality. 4,000 calories of plant food is a lot of food. What are some of the ways that you can get those calories and, and avocado. 
I eat three to six avocados a day. Or some of our athletes are eating 12 to 18. Depends on your size of your body and your needs, but uh, the calories are coming from 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 uh, uh, fats. Yeah, uh, the calories are coming from 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 uh, uh, fats. Yeah, uh, the calories are coming from 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 uh, uh, fats. So basically, when someone says I get my calories from greens, it means I get my calories from fat. I eat a high fat diet, but no one wants to say that outright. So Kevin Jarney asked a good question. So where do you get your calories from, uh, Dr. Young? Where do you get your calories from? And Dr. Young, he was honest. He said, fat. The calories are coming from fat. This is a high fat program. Lots of greens, but your calories come from fat. Last time I checked, high fat diets, they were unhealthy. I call it the CALS program. It's an acronym that stands for chlorophyll, oil, water, and salt. Totally raw, totally vegan. Okay? And uh, from there, basically very little or no sugars at all, other than what's naturally occurring in low-sugar fruits, like cucumbers, okay, like avocado, uh, you know, like green vegetables, but the diet's basically green. And I'll be taking between 12 to 14 grams of salts in different forms. Sodium chloride, yes, but salts are important. Sodium chloride is essential. We have to eat it on a daily basis. So these athletes who you're working with, their, their performance improves, their strength improves, and they're not getting amino, well, they're getting amino acids from the foods that they're eating, but not extra amino acids from animal protein or uh, from supplement source? Right. Their, their protein intake is less than five, five grams a day. Athletes eating high-fat diets, 18, 12 to 18 avocados a day, who the fuck's doing that? I've never heard of anyone doing that. People performing on that much fat per day, 400 grams of fat per day. That's like, what's that, 2.8 kilos of fat per week? Do you know how clogged your lymphatic system is going to be? Your legs are going to feel like crap. You're, you're going to have to have so much coffee just to get out the door. Once you're out the door, your performance is going to be so low because your glycogen level is just like, you know, through the floor. That's incredible that someone could say a you know, high-fat diet is good for athletic performance. That's absolute freaking insanity, man. Did I just hear Dr. Young say that his athletes eating 4,000 calories a day, the 12 to 18 avocado group, are getting no more than 5 grams of protein a day? Did I hear that right? Their, their protein intake is less than 5, five grams a day. Holy cow. Dr. Young doesn't even know how to do basic grade 2 maths. Dr. Young's in California, so we've got 18 avocados is what he's recommending for his people in the 4,000 calorie thing. So 18 avocados is what Dr. Young recommends on his 4,000 calorie day program. So we have 18 avocados gives you 211 grams of carbs. And there's no such thing as a healthy sugar. I don't care if it's coming from stevia, from a plant source, or whatever source is coming. All sugars are acids. All sugars are toxic to the body. That's a capital C for contradiction. Gives you 4,000 calories. So he's got the math right there. 48 grams of protein. Dr. Young said 5 grams of protein. Their, their protein intake is less than 5, five grams a day. Contradiction, 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 contradiction. Let's see whatever contradictions we can find on Mr. Young's website. So we're getting 48 grams of protein on his 4,000 calorie 18 avocado diet a day. We're getting 377 grams of fat. That's an incredible amount of fat. So a few times that by seven, we've got 2.8 kilos of fat per week. You times that per month, what do you got? You got about 10, 12 kilograms of fat. You got about 20 pounds of fat per month you're eating. Interesting. So we're at PH Miracle Living. Dr. Young recommends that we consume a green powder. So here we've got a quarter pound, 113 grams for 30 bucks. If we go down here to the nutritional 
recommendations. So we're looking one to three scoops per day, four to six times a day. One to three scoops per litre of water, four to six times a day. That's what the ingredients contain. Avocado, celery, parsley, just greens and stuff like that. Now this, is, this is one I found interesting. None of us can easily sit down to a meal and eat 14 pounds of green vegetables, fruits and grasses. But with one scoop of our alkaline green powder, you'll get the same benefit as consuming those 14 pounds of greens. Really? So we've got one scoop. And we've got how many carbohydrates? One milligram. One milligram of carbohydrates per scoop. But Dr. Young just said here, one scoop. Same benefit as drinking 14 pounds of greens. So my question is, 14 pounds of greens, how many calories is in that? Let's have a look at, say, spinach. So 14 pounds is, let's say, 6,000 grams, 6 kilos roughly. So we have 217 grams of carbohydrates there. We've got 217 grams, so that's one scoop. And Dr. Young says it's one milligram. <laughs> Are you confused? I think Dr. Young's confused. That's, that's, that's laughable. So one scoop is 14 pounds of green. One scoop is 14 pounds of greens, but it becomes one milligram. But yet, when we use, look at the USDA database, we've got, you know, 14 pounds, the juice is 217 grams. Not milligrams, but grams. Okay, so Dr. Robert Young contradicts himself again and again and again. He says, five grams of protein is the maximum that my athletes get. They get less than five grams of protein. We do the math, they're getting 50 grams of protein. He says, all sugar is toxic, doesn't matter where it comes from, it's stevia or plants, it's all sugar is toxic. Yet, when you're eating that much avocados or greens, you're getting a fair whack of sugar. You're getting a fair whack of carbohydrates. Not enough, but you're still getting the more than zero that Dr. Young says is optimal. And then Dr. Young says, well, I actually only eat three to six avocados a day. That's six to 1,200 calories a day. For a grown adult who's working in a profession as a doctor, Six to twelve hundred calories a day for a grown man? How do you say bullshit? <laughs> it's hilarious. I don't understand how the fuck Dr. Young working with Tony Robbins and that. No wonder Tony Robbins is constantly battling the bulge. No wonder people follow Dr. Young's program. They're constantly battling the bulge, battling cravings, yo-yoing up and down their weight. It's a fucking crazy program. Avocados for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Add in tip pour the salt shaker on them. Keep eating. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that one. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm fucking speechless. <laughs> don't know what to say. See you later. <laughs> I call it the alkalarian diet because it goes beyond all other diets. This is the diet for immortality. And that uh, the body ran on electrons, not on sugar. The body ran on electrons, not on carbohydrates. And there's no such thing as a healthy sugar. I don't care if it's coming from stevia, from a plant source, or whatever source is coming. All sugars are acids. All sugars are toxic to the body. Avocado. I eat three to six avocados a day. Some of our athletes are eating 12 to 18. I'll be taking between 12 to 14 grams of salts in different forms. Sodium chloride, yes, but salts are important. Sodium chloride is essential. We have to eat it on a daily basis. I call it the alkalarian diet because it goes beyond all other diets. This is the diet for immortality.